हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेटिक ऑस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आईआईटी जैम 2007 सो वी आर हेव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर सिक्स सो लेट अस फर्स्टली हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक एब्स्ट्रैक्ट एल्जेब्रा सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इट सेज इट सेज let g be an abelian group of order 10 so we have a abelian group of order 10 and s is a set that consists of all those elements from g such that they are self inverse are you getting my point or not so s will consist of all those elements from this group g which have which are self inverse i will say then the number of non identity element in s is so question is asking us about the non identity element okay so now let us see g is abelian group okay abelian group of order 10 g is an abelian group of order 10 and s is a set which consists of all the self inverse elements from g okay non identity or and the question is asking us about the non identity elements inside your given set s is so before proceeding with the solution i will show you a important result regarding this uh this question or you can say this these kind of topics and that will help you always so let me show you those notes so now let us read this note what it says it says if order of the group is p dot q where p is less than q and p divides q minus 1 then z is either isomorphic to z p q or to a non abelian group of order p q and here p and q are prime numbers okay i haven't written it down but it's obvious that p and q are prime numbers now in your question your group okay group g has order 10 it's given to you now you can write them as a product of prime that is 2 dot 5 now c 2 is less than 5 also 2 divides 5 minus 1 so all the hypothesis that is required for the node is already satisfied so therefore what we can say that g is either isomorphic to g is isomorphic to z p q or g is isomorphic to a non abelian group of order abelian group of order pq are you getting my point or not so this is what your question is now your note is suggesting us that g is either isomorphic to this one or to this one now it is already given to you that you have g as a abelian group now since g is abelian it's given that means you can cancel out this uh, this possibility therefore g is isomorphic to z p q okay so since g is isomorphic to z p q that means it's cyclic are you getting my point z p q is a cyclic group i will also use another note okay that will help you to determine the cardinality for s are you getting my point or not so what is that note i will write that thing here okay number of element number of element of order d okay in zn is equal to phi of d this is the note that i was talking about so this is a very important note and a very easy to remember so this d is a divisor of n okay this is also the uh, importance here this d is not just a number it's a divisor are you getting my point or not so what i mean to say that number of elements of order d where d is a divisor of n is equal to euler function phi of d 
are you getting my point or not so since it's phi of d you have to evaluate self inverse element now you know that what is the meaning of self inverse element it's very simple you need to calculate all the elements of order 2 okay so whenever someone will ask you what is the meaning of self inverse it simply means that the order of that element is 2 so now you need to calculate all the elements of order 2 now c i will write that thing here c 2 divides 10 right now since 2 divides 10 so i can use this property so phi of 2 will be the number of elements of order 2 so now you know phi of 2 is what 1 so therefore c is your correct answer every uh, remaining answer are false so let me change my pen uh, okay now c what i have done i will conclude uh, i will conclude that firstly you have you use this note to figure out that g is isomorphic to z 10 or it is isomorphic to non abelian group of order 10 non abelian group now since it's abelian it is given to you in the question therefore g is only isomorphic to z 10 now inside z10 you can evaluate number of elements of order d where d is a divisor using this euler phi function so therefore you need in order to determine the self inverse element you need to determine number of elements of order 2 so that is 1 therefore a is incorrect b is incorrect c is correct d is incorrect okay so this is how we can proceed so thank you